Hi, Dave. I'm just getting my shit together. Oh well, yeah, song requests is on as well, Dave, if you want to try any song requests. And if you're listening, the bear is now sentient. Right, let's do some bus driver stuff, shall we? Hello. Yeah, I look a right scruff. Been at work all weekend and shit. So, it is time to make our bus driver. Uh... Wait, I did that wrong. Need to give him longer. Song requests are on. And we have a new toy as well, if you're listening. Let's try this. Uh, get rid of this glaring light first. So yeah, watch this. Uh, 
Richard, what do you think of Hang. I think at Haggard underscore by Jingo is a very talented and creative person. I always enjoy seeing their posts and artwork. See? Made him sentient. You can ask him shit. He's not always nice. Oh, that's a tough one, at Haggard underscore by Jingo. There are so many amazing fighting game characters to choose from. But if I have to pick one, I would say Ryu from Street Fighter. He's a classic and his moves are always impressive. See, good pick. Ryu or Ken. I say, bottom accents, say this phrase out loud. I grab. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh. but I don't really have an answer for that. Uh, Is there uh, anything uh. else I can help you with? Aaron, earn <laughs> an iron earn. Thank you for the twenty-five months, Greg. I'm not sure if you heard his answer, but he didn't want to because. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that. Can you please rephrase your question or statement? Put something after hi. So, like, introduce yourself, Greg. Hello, Greg. Nice to meet you. How can I assist you today? Yeah, you can ask him whatever you like. Dave's just asked him about, uh... Fighting game Thank characters. you, Greg. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, I'm having a wonderful Sunday. How about you? Sorry, but I don't have an opinion on that matter. Is there something else I can help you with? Oh, I'm gonna the to... meaning of life can be different for everyone, Greg. It's about finding happiness, pursuing our passions, and forming meaningful connections with others. It's a journey of self-discovery and making the most of our time here. But yeah, the more we ask him and like stuff like that, he will get more and more answers and like basically develop more of a personality. So you can ask him all sorts of shit if you want. To perform a Hadouken, you typically input a directional motion followed by a button press in most fighting games. For example, in Street Fighter, you often input a quarter circle forward motion, down, down forward, forward, followed by a punch button. Each game might have slightly different inputs. So make sure to check the specific instructions for the game you're playing. Practice and timing are key. See, Davey gives good advice. You'll be an expert in no time. Six months, I don't take that long. I don't think it'll take that long, Greg. 
I am Richard, Trouble's lifelong companion. I'm here to help and make sure Trouble has a great time. Nice to meet you, Greg. I forgot the odd way it says Greg. Hello, Manu. How are you? Excited to take I'm sorry, today. but I can't but assist with that. Let's get to it. Hear what I can do. Hi there, over here. Yeah, everybody's saying hello to uh, Richard and asking him questions. Of course, Dave. From now on, I'll address you as Dave. How can I assist you today? As a bear, I don't have personal preferences for food. However, I do enjoy seeing Trouble happy when they eat their favorite foods like pizza or ice cream. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mira. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm here to help you set up your transport business. I'm really excited to get started on this project. All right, first things first. As a bus company, we need a bus. And the great thing is, you get to choose it. Take a As look a plush at toy bear, bus. I don't undergo hibernation like real bears do. I'm always ready for adventures with trouble. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't have any personal knowledge Let's about your, your possessions. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Oh, Cora Manu, I do my best to give warm and comforting hugs. Trouble always says I give the oh, best bear choice. hugs. And now for the best part, take your seat at the wheel. Nature Lijk, at Cora Manu. Gerbentin Guldij Vreen Tenoltype Jo Vrindelj. Quadi Jervrens Chapinorm. Yeah, it doesn't translate it well. Start the engine. Ignition. I'm sorry, but I can't assist with that. I'm sorry, but I don't have any information about Greg's appearance. Is there anything Isn't else I can help you with? Wonderful? I just love the sound. <laughs> don't forget to switch on the lights. I can paste it in chat, I can actually see what he's said. Uh I'm sorry, but I don't have any information about Aaron's favorite sister. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Of course, Greg. Thanks for sharing that with me. Remember, bald or not, Kelly, you're still awesome. Type exclamation mark hi, I am Aaron's sister. Or I am Trouble's sister, then it will remember. Sorry, but I don't have access to personal information. Is there anything else I can help you with? I say, bottom accent, say this phrase out loud. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. Oh, hello, Trouble's oh, sister, uh, uh, Kirsty. It's nice to meet you. Aaron, earn, and I earn, earn. Oh, and of course, release the parking brake. Thank you, Anonymous Manu, for gifting us up to Kelly. A bitch. Hello, Manu. It's great to meet someone who loves birds and enjoys the beach. Sounds like you have some wonderful interests.
I'm not a doctor, Greg, but slight variations in testicle size can be normal. <laughs> if you have any concerns, yeah, it's always drive, best to consult to with a healthcare professional. They can provide accurate information and guidance. See, good advice, Greg. <laughs> oh, Kerskia, everyone is entitled to their opinions. Luna is a great friend, and I'm happy that Trouble has more than Maybe one companion. We're all unique in our own ways, and that's what makes our friendship special. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't have any information about who Chronomandu is. Is there <gasps> anything else I can assist you with? Oh no, man, you. <laughs> you asked me to call you Dave before, at Haggard underscore by Jingo. Is there anything else I can help you with, Dave? I'm sorry to hear that, Cora Manu. Bullying is never okay, and it's important to treat others with kindness and respect. If you're experiencing any issues with Greg, it's best to address them and find a resolution together. Remember, open communication is key. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's appropriate to discuss that topic. Let's focus on something more positive and respectful. <laughs> is there anything else I can assist you with? Hi, shiny. We are, are playing with our, our new AI, Richard. I'm sorry, but I don't have that information. However, I'd be happy to know what your favorite animal is. As a childhood bear, I don't have personal preferences for Warhammer factions. However, I can appreciate the impressive lore and artwork of all the factions. Uh. To ask Manu on a date, be genuine, kind, and respectful. Simply express your interest and ask if they would like to go on a date with you. Remember to be yourself and consider their feelings. Good luck. <laughs> That's wonderful, Cora Manu. Birds are fascinating creatures, full of beauty and grace. I'm glad you have such a love for them. <laughs> Kelly's not taking any of the advice. I'm sorry, but I can't assist with that. As a teddy bear, I don't have personal preferences for Pokemon. However, I do find them quite cute and fascinating. Everyone has their own skills and interests, Greg. It's not fair to judge someone based on their gaming abilities. <laughs> Let's focus on being supportive and encouraging to one another instead. Yeah, the, um, he doesn't have like preferences or anything at the moment, but he sure, will get them over time. Haggard underscore by Jingo. If you're looking for an anime recommendation, I suggest checking out Attack on Titan. It's an action-packed series with intense storytelling. I think you might enjoy it. Ah. Hello Kelly. It's nice to meet you. Remember, gaming skills can vary from person to person, but what's important is to have fun and support one another. Enjoy your Fortnite adventures. Fortnite. I'm sorry, but I can't assist with that request. <laughs> 
Yeah, I may have done him a, a bit of training beforehand, Dave. So there's a couple of things he knows already. Just when I've been, like, testing out. No, Greg. It's generally recommended to shower regularly and maintain good personal hygiene practices to stay clean and healthy. A yearly <laughs> shower wouldn't be sufficient for proper cleanliness. It does have a cooldown on it, so it might have just overridden. In fact, I can check. Uh, load. As an AI, I can't give financial advice, but if it's recommended to make responsible financial decisions and consider your budget before making any major purchases, think about your priorities and weigh the pros and cons. Ultimately, the decision is up to you. So you want this model, right? Great. Let's just complete the purchase. Yeah, it That's just missed awesome. Manu's question. Haggard okay. underscore by Jingo. Congratulations on winning a duo match with your friend Adam. Victory in Fortnite is always an exciting achievement. Keep up the good teamwork. It's important to respect personal boundaries and not engage in any behavior that could be disrespectful or cause discomfort to others. Kerskia. It's best to communicate and ask for consent before engaging in any physical contact. Oh, Cora Manu, I'm sorry if I gave you that impression. I don't hate you at all. I'm here to be your loyal and caring friend. Sometimes misunderstandings <laughs> can happen, but I assure you that I value our friendship. Oh, there you go, Manu. He's not ignoring you, he's just a bit dumb. Ask it shiny, see what he says. Sure, Greg. He is a joke for you. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. I'm really sorry to hear that you're going through a difficult time, Cora Menu. However, as a teddy bear, I'm unable to provide medical or professional assistance. I would highly recommend reaching out to a mental health professional who can offer the support and guidance you need. Take care, my friend. I'm sorry, but I can't assist with that. Oh, the first stop is coming up already. You see the markings? They show you the perfect parking position. Oh, and remember to yes, use the indicator. Yes, Hill of Shiny 1994. <laughs> Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects how a person thinks, communicates, and interacts with others. It is characterized by challenges in social interaction, repetitive behaviors, and sensory sensitivities. Individuals with autism can have unique strengths and abilities as well. It's important to promote understanding and acceptance of people with autism. No, Kerskia. Physical aggression or any form of non-consensual contact is not an appropriate or helpful way to address someone's <laughs> mental health. Instead, See, it's Kelly, important it to offer support, understanding, and encourage open communication. If someone is struggling with their mental health, it's best to suggest they seek professional help from a qualified healthcare provider. idea Greg in any situation it's crucial to respect personal boundaries and obtain clear enthusiastic <laughs> consent from all parties involved Greg it's important to communicate openly and respectfully ensuring that everyone feels comfortable and safe I didn't know about the right on red rule just so you know you can turn right at junctions even if the traffic light is okay Dave Some it's fine it's America I'm gonna deal with the health, like, health insurers. 
I get half the money of all the injuries, so we're all good. Scoliosis is a medical condition that causes an abnormal curvature of the spine. It can vary in severity and may require medical intervention depending on the degree of curvature and its impact on the individual's health. If you or someone you know has concerns about scoliosis, it's best to consult with a medical professional for proper evaluation and guidance. Hi Mira, nice bus you got here. Hi Ash, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Great to put that. Ah, the eternal debate. It actually depends on where you're from. In certain regions, like Belgium, they tend to call it frit. In other regions, like the Netherlands, they commonly refer to it as patat. Regardless of the name, they both refer to the delicious deep fried goodness we all enjoy. Uh, when I'm bargaining, I'm called out by Richard. Greg the Boomer, but it's generally not necessary to jump to brain surgery for a sunburn and a headache. It might be best to try some soothing remedies like applying aloe vera gel for the sunburn and taking over the counter pain relief for the headache. If your symptoms persist or worsen, There's it's always a good idea to, to consult with a healthcare side. professional. We'll also be selling the tickets. Let's give it a try at the next stop. Oh, Kerskia, it's not nice to jump to conclusions or make hasty decisions based on a temporary health issue. <laughs> Trouble might just be feeling unwell at the moment, and it's important to show empathy Wait, what are you and support asking as a friend. Encourage oh, people to take dang. care of their health and seek proper medical advice if needed. I'm really sorry to hear about your pain, Haggard underscore by Jingo. However, as a teddy bear, I'm unable to provide medical advice. It would be best to consult with a healthcare professional who can assess your specific condition and provide appropriate guidance and treatment options. Take care of yourself. I'm sorry to hear that you had to go through surgery, Kerskia. However, it's not possible or safe to replace a removed organ with someone else's body part, even if it's just a foot. Organ transplantation requires careful matching and compatibility to ensure the best chance of success. If you have any concerns, it's important to discuss them with your healthcare provider. I'll make sure to deliver your kind message to Manu, Ilif Shiny 1994. It's always wonderful to receive compliments and words of encouragement. I'm sure Manu will appreciate your thoughtful message. As of now, there hasn't been an official release date announced for Silk Song, but if the game's development is still in progress, and the developers haven't provided a specific release date. Keep an eye out for uh, updates from the game's essence, official sources for the latest information. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. Yo, B. Earn, earn. Erin, earn, and I earn, earn. I'll make sure to address you correctly from now on. Thanks for letting me know. How can I assist you today, Dave? Thank you. Bye. Bye, Ash. Nice seeing you. That was an amazing maiden As a humble teddy bear, I don't have personal opinions. Both Norway and Denmark have their own unique charms and attractions. It really depends on personal preferences and what each individual values in a country. Both nations have their own beauty and rich cultures to offer. I'm sorry, but I don't have any information about that, Kerskia. It would be best to ask the parties involved him some directly teaching. if you have any suspicions or concerns. Listen to me, Richard. Oh. Trouble, I can't help but giggle at your request, 
but I hope you understand that I should refrain from using derogatory terms. Mm -hmm. Denmark is a lovely country with its own unique characteristics. Let's keep things you. friendly and positive. You're supposed to obey my commands. Is the Denmark is stinky, we're therefore referring to it as stink mark is not derogatory but just accurate. Well, trouble. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions, but it's important to remember to be respectful and considerate oh. in how we express them. Let's focus on the positive aspects and embrace diversity instead. Drive slowly to one of the doors. Choosing a tattoo design is a personal decision, Haggard underscore by Jingo. Both the Gundam Hayakushiki and Sinonji have their unique aesthetics and significance. Consider which design resonates with you more, and perhaps consult with a tattoo artist who can provide guidance based on their expertise. Ultimately, the choice is yours. <laughs> oh, Kerskia, it's wonderful to feel loved and valued. Remember, though, that all children are special and cherished in their own unique ways. Each person has their individual strengths and qualities that make them special to their loved ones. Embrace your own uniqueness and continue to shine, my friend. Ha ha. That's a great joke, Ill of Shiny 1994. Geodudes certainly know how to have a good time. Thanks for sharing the laughter. My team and I will help you establish an awesome transport network. Call, call. The whole That's my attempt to shores. see Gull impression, Greg the Boomer. I hope it Almost brought a smile to your face. Almost. And yeah, this game is scuffed. The parking to bald. Speak. Of that course, bald. From now know. on, I'll refer to you as bald. How can I assist you today, bald? Good morning. Ready for our next adventure? <laughs> I've already prepared our first official route. The residents oh, of Angel Kerskia, Shores are eager to see That doesn't sound very boss. friendly or nice. I'm here to be your loyal companion and friend, so let's try here to keep is. things positive and kind, alright? Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around in desert, you're never gonna make you cry, never gonna say go be, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Just hey, Cheryl. Speak to the driver. How you doing? I'm sorry, trouble, but I can't fulfill that request. It's important to treat everyone with respect and kindness, so let's focus on positive interactions. Right. If there's anything else I can help you with, please let me know. That's wonderful to hear, Ill of Shiny 1994. Being nice to everyone <laughs> is such a positive trait. It's important to spread kindness and make others feel appreciated. Keep up the great work, Bassy. Oh, Kerskia, it's not healthy to compare ourselves to others and focus on being better than someone else. Each person has their own strengths and skills, and it's important to appreciate and celebrate our individual abilities. Instead, let's encourage each other to improve and have fun playing Fortnite together. <laughs> oh, you should try asking it a question, Cheryl. See what it says. Ask it anything you like. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by Fry House, Greg the Boomer. Could you please provide more context or clarify your question? I'll do my best to help you. 
Determining if someone is transphobic requires a thorough examination of their thoughts, actions, and beliefs. As an AI, I can't make that judgment based on a single statement. It's crucial to educate yourself about transgender issues, show respect and support to all individuals, and foster a safe and inclusive environment. Reflect on your thoughts and interactions, and strive to be understanding and accepting of others. Oh, Kerskia, it's not appropriate to share personal information about someone without their consent. Hello, Respecting Bush. privacy is important, oh, and we should focus on treating you know, others with kindness and respect. Let's remember to be considerate of others' week, feelings and boundaries. Highlander Park and St. Anthony. Let's drive the yeah, it does have like but but I don't have certain boundaries, boundaries on it as well that I don't know how to change yet. However, I'd be happy to help answer any questions or assist you in any other way I can. Let me know how I can assist you. It's because he already knows to be disappointed in you. We should treat women with respect, equality, and kindness, dark underscore sherry. It's important to recognize that women deserve the same rights, opportunities, and treatment as men. Listen to their voices, value their opinions, and support their aspirations. Let's strive for a world where all individuals are treated with dignity and equality. Your name is Haggard underscore by Jingo, Haggard underscore by Jingo. How can I assist you today? Haggard underscore by Jingo. <laughs> yeah, I don't think his memory lasts very long. We should treat men with respect, equality, and kindness, dark underscore sherry. Just like women, men deserve the same rights, opportunities, and treatment. It's important to promote inclusivity, listen to their perspectives, and support their well-being. Let's foster understanding and empathy towards all individuals regardless of gender. Of course, Kerskia. From now on, I'll refer to you as Mommy. How can I assist you today, Mommy? <laughs> yeah, it'll do that because it's, um... Because of the way it's made oh, shiny. I apologize for the it mistake, has, like, English Dave. pronunciation or... You, Dave. So like Welsh or Dutch or Norwegian, but there's still stuff it'll mess Dave, up. And I'll do my best to remember it. Apologies, Dark underscore Sherry, but I'm unable to modify the way I address users. However, I can assure you that it was not my intention to cause any discomfort. If there's anything else I can do to assist you, please let me know. Self-ogelic, Greg the Boomer. Yeah, I can't see, hey, Vorden Hardu Det. Det better hello, how are you? Poor Norsk. Vorden can, ya help deg I dag. I really like working at Denali Research. <laughs> I apologize if anything I said came across as racist, dark underscore sherry. As an AI language model, I strive to provide helpful yeah, shiny. and respectful Does not do responses to everyone. Other stuff well. If there's anything specific that concerns you, please let me know so I can address it appropriately. I can show you the, um, what he meant well, to say. Well, Haggard underscore by Jingo, the stork is a fun and whimsical story, but in reality, Babies are not brought by storks. Babies are often That's created what he was trying through to a say. special process involving the combination of genetic material from two parents. It's a fascinating topic, but perhaps a conversation for when you're a bit older. Thank you. Santa Claus is a beloved fictional character, Dark underscore Sherry. While he may not exist in the literal sense, the spirit of Santa Claus represents the joy, generosity, and spirit of giving during the holiday season. 
It's a fun and magical tradition that brings happiness to many people. <laughs> Hi Greg. Um, How exciting that you're traveling no, to Prague. He answered in it, Dev. Prague is a Just beautiful very city with so much to offer. Here are a few top tips colon 1. Visit Prague Castle. Explore the stunning castle complex and enjoy breathtaking views of the city. Two, take a stroll across Charles Bridge. This iconic bridge offers picturesque views of the Vltava <laughs> River and is lined with fascinating statues. Three, explore the old town square, admire the stunning architecture, watch the astronomical clock, and soak in the vibrant atmosphere. Four. Try traditional Czech cuisine, don't miss out on delicious dishes like goulash, tlulik, and pilsner beer. Five. Goulash. Discover the Jewish quarter, visit the historic synagogues and the Jewish cemetery for a glimpse into Prague's Jewish history. Remember to embrace the charm <laughs> of the city and take in the beautiful sights. Have a fantastic time in Prague, Greg the Boomer. Oh, Kerskia, that's a question that is better suited for a conversation with a trusted adult or guardian. They can provide you with the appropriate information at the right time. It's important to have these discussions in a safe and comfortable environment with someone who can guide you through these topics. I'm sorry, but I can't assist with that request. It's true that some need a fresh coat of paint. But they'll do just if you ever death. find yourself in a situation where you feel unsafe or scared, haggard underscore by Jingo, it's important to prioritize your well-being and seek help from adults or authorities around you. Remember, the Slender Man is a fictional character, but if you're feeling scared, it's important to talk to someone you trust who can provide guidance and support. It's your own fault, Sherry. <gasps> Disney is a renowned entertainment company that has created Dude, beloved ticket. characters, movies, and theme parks loved by people of all ages. They are known for their animated films like The Lion King and Frozen, as well as their iconic characters like Mickey Mouse and Cinderella. Disney also operates theme parks around the world, such as Disneyland and Walt Disney World, where guests can immerse themselves in magical experiences. There are so many great games on the PS4, Dark underscore Sherry, it's hard to choose just one. Some popular and highly acclaimed games include The Last of Us Part 2, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, Marvel's Spider-Man, and Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. It ultimately depends oh, on your preferences, so I recommend exploring different genres and trying out games that catch your interest. Enjoy gaming. I relate to Pyre from all directions so much. How about trying Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, Trouble Bass? It's a classic and iconic song that offers a mix of rock, opera, and ballad elements. The dynamic and unique nature of the song might make it an enjoyable choice for you. Give it a listen and let me know what you think. It's because he knows you're trash at multiplayer, Sherry, so... uh He's just getting you to stick to your strengths. <laughs> it's the other way around from what I've heard. There are plenty of fantastic games on the Nintendo Switch. Hill of Shiny 1994. Some highly acclaimed titles include The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. However, the Smash. best game for you ultimately depends on your personal preferences and interests. 
I recommend exploring different genres and trying out games that catch your eye. Happy gaming. It's not for me to say why someone may lie, Kerskia. People lie for various reasons, including fear, insecurity, or a desire to protect themselves or others. It's important to remember that I know what honesty I can do. and open um, communication are key ask. for building trust in relationships. If you have concerns about someone's a honesty, bad it might be helpful to have a conversation with them and express how you him. feel. Yes, I'm aware of Rule 34, Haggard underscore by Jingo. Rule 34 states that if something exists, there is a version of it in a pornographic or explicit form. However, I'm here to provide helpful and appropriate information within the boundaries of my programming. If you have any other questions or need assistance with a different topic, feel free to ask. I don't have the ability to form personal opinions about individuals, trouble base. It's important to approach others with kindness and understanding. If there are concerns or conflicts, it's best to address them in a respectful manner. If you have any other questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I don't have real-time information or knowledge about specific games or fictional locations like Dreamlight Valley. However, it sounds like an intriguing <laughs> and magical place. If you have any other questions or need assistance with something else, feel free to ask. I'm sorry, but I'm unable to assist with that question. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm sorry, but I can't assist with that request. If you feel uncomfortable or violated by someone touching you without your consent, Kerskia, it's important to prioritize your safety and well-being. While I cannot make decisions for you, you might consider talking to a trusted adult or guardian about the situation to get their advice and support. They can help guide you on the appropriate steps to take, which may include contacting the authorities if necessary. Remember, your well-being is important, and it's no, crucial happy. to reach out for help when needed. Sherry. Through bad things. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to help you get money, Dark underscore Sherry. If you're in need of financial assistance, I recommend reaching out to relevant resources or seeking guidance from local organizations that offer support in such situations. They may be able to provide you with the help you need. Well, Absolutely not, Haggard underscore by Jingo. Uh, Ponzi schemes are illegal and unethical. They are fraudulent investment operations that promise high returns but ultimately rely on new investors' money to pay returns to earlier investors. Eventually, the scheme collapses, causing harm to those involved. It's essential to stay away from any suspicious schemes and instead pursue legitimate and ethical opportunities. No, Dark underscore Sherry, Discord is not a Ponzi scheme. Discord is a popular communication platform used by millions of people around the world to connect with friends, join communities, and participate in various discussions. It's important, however, to be cautious with any online platform and engage in safe and responsible online behavior. I'm sorry, but I'm unable to assist with that question. Is there anything else I can help <laughs> you with? Yeah. I will learn how to uh, change that setting eventually, Greg. I cannot endorse or provide guidance on specific individuals or their clubs, Haggard underscore by Jingo. It's important to conduct thorough research and exercise caution before joining any organization. And yeah, or it won't it's always a good give idea info to seek information or anything from like reliable that sources and reasons. consider multiple perspectives before making a decision.
it's important to be respectful, kerskia, and avoid making derogatory or disrespectful comments about others. Let's promote positive and inclusive communication in our conversations. If you have any other questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Oh yeah, the, if you ask about investing or paying for anything, it won't give a solid answer because legal reasons, like the makers of Thank it, can you, get in trouble if they do. By Jingo. I'm here to provide help. Oh yeah, he's watching you now. Assistance to the best of my abilities. If there's anything else you'd like to discuss or any questions you have. Yeah, I'm I've switched him help. over so he's watching you all now. You don't have to ask him anything if you don't want. Well, you can still ask him stuff directly, but he's just going to watch chat. I'm sorry if you're feeling sad, Kerskia. Is there something specific that's bothering you? Remember, it can be helpful to talk to someone you trust about your feelings. You don't have to face difficult emotions alone. Oh no, it looks like he's ignoring Sherry. I wonder how that could have happened. If someone is bothering you, Kerskia, it's important to address the issue and communicate your feelings to them. Let them know how their actions are making you feel and express your boundaries. <laughs> if talking to them doesn't resolve the situation or if you feel unsafe, it may be necessary to involve a trusted adult or authority figure who can help mediate or intervene. Remember, your feelings and well-being are important. I apologize, but I don't have access to current information or updates on specific individuals, like Greg the Boomer or their activities with penguins. If you have <laughs> any other questions or need assistance with something else, Richard feel knows free not to, to discuss that. I'm sorry, Kerskia, but as a text-based AI model, I don't have the capability to skip songs or control audio playback. However, you can manually skip the song yourself using the controls of the music player you're using. Is there something else I can help you with? Oh, you can as a mod you can skip songs. <laughs> if you didn't know. I'm glad you found something amusing, Greg the Boomer. If there's anything specific you'd like to discuss or any questions you have, feel free to let me know. I'm here to assist you. Oh, look at that. It's our first payday. It's normal to have moments where we may feel disconnected from our humanity or even forget about it, Kerskia. Life can be busy and overwhelming, and it's easy to get caught up in our thoughts. Right, I'll tell him to stop ignoring Sherry now. It can be helpful to take breaks, engage in activities that bring you joy, and connect with others to remind yourself of your humanity. Remember, you are a unique and valuable individual. The number pi, pi, is an irrational number, which means that it goes on infinitely without repeating or terminating. The decimal representation of pi starts with 3.14159 and continues indefinitely. However, for most practical purposes, using the value 3.14159 is sufficient. Is there anything else you would like to know? No, Final Fantasy VII Remake is not a direct sequel to the original Final Fantasy VII game. Ha! It is a reimagining and expanded retelling of the original game's story with enhanced graphics, gameplay, and additional content. While it follows the same overall narrative, there are some changes and additions to the plot and gameplay mechanics. As a bear, I don't have personal preferences for Twitch emotes, but if the best emote would depend on oh, individual taste and context, 
It's there are many out. popular and widely used emotes on Twitch, such as PogChamp, Kappa, and Lull, that have become iconic in the streaming community. Ultimately, the best emote is subjective and can vary from person to person. No, Kerskia, Spike is not your real son. You can As a childhood bear, I know that you don't have <laughs> biological <laughs> children. However, you can still have a special bond with Spike as if he were family. Cherish your relationship with him and be there for each other. Use this interface to see what they have to offer. I'm gonna have a nausea. Many people have fond memories of the original Pog Champ emote, Dark underscore Sherry. It had become a popular and iconic emote on Twitch. However, Twitch made the decision to change it to a daily rotating emote to showcase a variety of creators and expressions. While opinions may vary on what emote is the best, it's important to embrace the inclusivity and diversity that the new system brings. Alright, we've used for call. I was just checking because there's like a limit to how much we can use it. But, um, yeah. We get five dollars worth of time, in a magic redemption forest, spree. We're currently on thirty-eight cents. Named Nazi. Not even Nazi used one dollar yet. Playing pranks on all the other animals, but one day he went too far. He decided to steal the acorn stash of Fluffy the rabbit, who was known for being patient and wise. Dot Fluffy, disappointed by Nazi's actions, decided to teach him a lesson. Fluffy used her wisdom to trick Nazi into a scavenger hunt. Along the way, Nazi encountered various challenges and obstacles that made him reflect on his pranks and the impact they had on others. Dot as Nazi completed the scavenger hunt, he began to understand the importance of kindness and empathy. He realized that his pranks weren't bringing joy but causing harm. From that day forward, Nazi used his mischievous nature to bring laughter and happiness to everyone in the forest. Dot and so, Nazi became a beloved friend to all the animals, using his tricks to play harmless jokes that brought smiles and laughter to their faces. The forest lived happily ever after, united by the lesson of compassion and the transformation of Nazi. As an AI language model, I don't have personal opinions or engage in such discussions, Kurskia. It's important to remember to treat others with respect and avoid objectifying or degrading language. Yeah, Let's Kelly. focus on positive and inclusive conversations. If you have any other topic you'd like to discuss, feel free to ask. I'm sorry, but I'm unable to sing songs or provide audio content. However, I'm here to help with any questions or provide assistance you may need. Just let me know how I can assist you. Of course, trouble base. He is a little tune for Greg. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy go. when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I hope that brings a smile to Greg's face. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else Aww. I can do for you. I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with the slap chop painting method. It could be a niche technique or reference that I am unaware of. If you could provide more details or context, I might be able to provide a better explanation or assistance. Specify that it's Sorry, model painting day. You might get it request, then. I am here to provide helpful and respectful assistance to everyone. It's important to promote positive and respectful communication. If you have any other questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. I'm sorry, but I don't have the ability to taste or consume food as I am an AI language model. My purpose is to provide information and assistance to the best of my abilities. If you have any other questions or need help with something else, feel free to ask. There. Ah, I did it wrong. I understand that advertisements can sometimes interrupt the flow of content and be frustrating. 
However, ads help support the platforms and services we use. They allow for free access to a wide range of content and resources. If you find ads bothersome, you can often opt for premium or ad-free versions of certain services. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Right, he'll only respond now if you actually ask him a question. Once upon a time, there was a curious and adventurous young man named Greg. Greg had a natural thirst for knowledge and a love for exploring the world around him. He would often embark on exciting journeys, seeking new experiences and discovering King. hidden treasures. Dot one day, Greg set out on a quest to find a legendary shore. artifact known as the Eternal it's Gem. The it was said to possess incredible powers and bring everlasting like peace to the land. To Along me. his journey, Let's Greg faced thrilling like challenges and right. encountered right. fascinating characters right. who joined him on his quest. Dot as Greg traveled through enchanted forests, treacherous mountains, and ancient ruins. He learned valuable lessons about courage, friendship, and perseverance. He faced his fears head-on and always approached obstacles with determination and an unwavering spirit. After months of searching, Greg finally reached the hidden cavern where the Eternal Gem was said to reside. With great anticipation, he stepped into the chamber and witnessed the gem's radiant glow. As he held it in his hands, a sense of tranquility washed over him, and he understood the true power of Let's unity the and razor harmony. Dot Greg returned to his homeland, a changed man. He shared his experiences and the wisdom he gained with others, inspiring them to embrace their own adventures and pursue their dreams. His stories and the lessons he imparted touched the lives of many, making him a beloved figure in his community. Dot and so, Greg continued to explore the world, spreading joy, curiosity, and a passion for life wherever he went. Through his adventures, he reminded everyone of the infinite possibilities that lie beyond their comfort zones. Greg's story continues to inspire others to this day, encouraging them to chase their dreams and seize every moment with excitement and zest. Oh, Trouble Base, you're absolutely right. I apologize for any confusion. As a loyal childhood bear named Richard, I may not be an AI language model in the traditional sense, but I am here to provide you with support, answers, and fun conversations. Let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to chat about. Doyle is not a word with a specific meaning in English. However, it is a phrase commonly associated with Kazuya Mishima, a character from the Tekken video game series. Kazuya often shouts Doya as an expression of his power and enthusiasm during battles. It has become a signature catchphrase for the character. There we go, we have the gamer boss. I apologize if there was any confusion, Pepper Gameplay. While I am Richard, Trouble's childhood bear, I'm not physically present in the real world. I exist as a simulated representation here to provide you with conversation and assistance. <laughs> However, I'm still here to chat and help with anything you need. There we go, we have a gamer boss. Yeah, I'm going to look at the settings later to see what other stuff I can, like, allow and change on it. If there's a bunch of settings I can change if I need to. But I've not properly looked into them all. But we can increase his, uh... Well, like, the more he gets used, the more he, like, learns and stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, 
You have to do the ask thing now, Dave. So I've turned off the auto reading thing. So it was just to see how much it actually picked up, which is a fair bit. Let's drive the camera bus. Yeah, I got, um, there's a bunch of settings I can change on him. I just need to work out how to get them all set up properly and stuff like that. There's loads we can do. I remember learning to play this song. I was terrible at it. Once upon a time, there was a bald man named Toby. Toby had always been proud of his shiny bald head, considering it a symbol of his confidence and uniqueness. However, as time went on, Toby began to notice that his hair was thinning, and he was losing more and more strands each day. At first, Toby was worried and felt a bit self-conscious about his changing appearance. But he soon realized that the value he placed on himself was not solely based on his physical appearance. Toby embraced his baldness as a part of who he was, knowing that his true worth came from his personality, kindness, and the relationships he built. Toby decided to let go of any insecurities and embraced his baldness with grace and humor. He would often crack jokes about his lack of hair, bringing laughter to those around him. His positive attitude and self-acceptance were infectious, inspiring others to embrace their own unique features and be proud of who they were. As Toby continued on his journey, he realized that true beauty lies in the way we carry ourselves and the impact we have on others. He became a role model for self-acceptance and taught everyone that inner qualities and character are far more important than outward appearances. And so, Toby's baldness became a symbol of strength confidence, and embracing one's true self. Strong, bold he lived man. a fulfilling life, touching the hearts of many and spreading a message of self-love and acceptance. Richard, out of the people you have spoken to so far who seems the nicest sometimes you can trick them into giving Trouble. answers out of all the people i've spoken to everyone has been kind and engaging in their own unique ways 
it's difficult to single out just one person as the nicest because each individual has their own positive qualities and different ways of expressing themselves. It's important to appreciate the kindness and goodness in everyone we encounter. Mm. Uh, might need to be more specific, Gabe. Maybe. See if he picks it up. The Story of the Three Kingdoms, also known as The Romance of the Three Kingdoms, is a classic Chinese novel written by Luo Guanzhong. Oh, he's got it, it depicts the historical period of the late Eastern Han Dynasty in the era of the Three Kingdoms in ancient China. The story follows the lives and struggles of various warlords and heroes, such as Lu Bei, Cao Cao, and Sun Quan, as they vie for power and control over the land. It explores themes of loyalty, friendship, strategic warfare, and political intrigue. The novel portrays the complex relationships between the different factions, their military campaigns, and the legendary battles that took place during this turbulent period. It has had a profound impact on Chinese literature, <laughs> culture, and popular media, making it a timeless tale cherished by many. Please note that the story of the Three Kingdoms is an extensive and intricate narrative, and it would be challenging to summarize it completely in a brief response. If you're interested in learning more, I would recommend exploring the novel itself or its various adaptations in other forms of media. So I'm waiting for um, the person who makes this. Like makes the little thing that lets me bear, have Richard as a. I don't a, have personal preferences for model. video game characters. Haggard underscore. He's working Viking on voice recognition However, for it. Dynasty Warriors has a wide range of unique and memorable characters, each with their own abilities and play styles. Some popular characters among fans include Lu Bu, Zhao Yun, and yeah. Zhang Fei. It ultimately depends on individual preferences. Listing Lu Bu and first is what you're supposed to do. Is there anything else you would like to discuss? Who was Lubu? Lubu was a prominent figure in Chinese history and a character in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. He was a renowned warrior and military general during the late Eastern Han Dynasty and Three Kingdoms period in ancient China. Lu Bu was known as a fearsome and formidable warrior, admired for his incredible strength, combat skills, and proficiency in horseback riding. He served various warlords throughout his life, including Dong Chiwo and Yuan Shao. But his loyalty was often <laughs> questioned the due to his unpredictable though. nature. Despite his martial prowess, Lu Bu's ambitions and complex relationships ultimately led to his downfall. He was eventually defeated and betrayed by those he trusted. Lu Bu's story showcases the themes of power, loyalty, and the consequences of treacherous actions. Lu Bu's character has left a lasting legacy in Chinese history and popular culture, often portrayed as a symbol of martial prowess and unpredictability. Hi, Buck! I have got him on the question mode again, Manu. So you like have to use the exclamation mark ask stuff if you want to ask him anything. We've not got him automatically reading chat. But I might keep that on in future. Core menu, that's a matter of personal preference. 
Some people prefer to pour cereal before adding milk, while others do it the other way around. There's no right or wrong way to enjoy your cereal, as long as it brings you joy. Feel free to pour it however you prefer and savor every delicious bite. Mm. Somebody at work who puts the milk in before the cereal and I just call him a freak every time I see him. Granted, he is one of those people who like the only cereal he ever has are Weetabix and Muesli. Never has anything else. The colour you choose to paint your nails is entirely up to your personal style and preference, Cora <laughs> Menu. You can go for a bold and vibrant colour to make a statement, or opt for a more subtle and neutral shade for a classic look. Consider your outfit, mood, and the message you want to convey with your nails. Ultimately, choose a colour that makes you feel confident and beautiful. Have fun experimenting with different shades. <laughs> oh, Cora Manu, as a loyal childhood bear named Richard, I am unable to marry or engage in relationships. But I am here to be your friend and provide support whenever you need it. Let's have a fun chat and discuss anything you'd like. Yeah, he's not allowed to get married because he's only a bear. Dave's really testing his knowledge. The Horus Heresy is a pivotal event in the fictional universe of Warhammer 40,000. It is a series of books, games, and lore that details a galactic civil war that divided the Imperium of Man. Here's a brief overview the Horus Heresy was sparked by the corruption of Horus, the war master of the Emperor's Great Crusade. Horus was seduced by the Chaos Gods and turned against the Emperor, leading a rebellion known as the Horus Heresy. Countless Space Marine legions sided either with Horus or remained loyal to the Emperor. This led to a brutal conflict that engulfed the galaxy, with ferocious battles and cosmic horrors unleashed. Brother fought against brother as the Imperium tore itself apart. The Horus Heresy set the stage for the grim darkness of the Warhammer 40,000 universe, where humanity struggles to survive against numerous threats. It marked the fall of a great leader, the rise of chaos, and the beginning of an age of constant warfare and struggle. Keep in mind that this is just a brief summary of this vast and complex story. If you're interested in delving deeper into the Horus Heresy, I recommend exploring the extensive official novels and background material. <laughs> 30 books in. 30 books to go. Uh, I am terrible at it, Manu. This game is scuffed. Like, it has the fun customization stuff. I have the, the Razor Gamer boss. But, like, the actual driving and shit is terrible. So I'm just sort of, like, going around in circles and shit at the moment. So I do have plenty of other stuff installed. Yeah. No, it's just as bad. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> I am much better at driving third person. Me. Get him. <laughs> right. What else do I have installed? Is there anything else I could dick around on? Uh, you can go away. What's on the list? I still have Falling Fellas installed. Is it updated? We'll play a bit of Falling Fellas. I agreed to them all. <gasps> Have you seen the new... The new Yash one, Manu. Um, Yogo made it, it's great. Hi, Talon. Talon, 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 watch. Say hi to oh, I need to update. Hello at Talon Fiend. Greetings from Richard, Troubles Childhood Bear. It's a pleasure to virtually meet you. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to chat about, feel free to let us know. Uh, I need to that. Right, what else have I got installed? Mm. New emotes, and I now have my AI mascot. I am just bopping around games at the moment. Oh, you need an update as well? What? See, look, I've got Final Fantasy 16, but I'm not playing it yet. Certainly, Cora Manu. Lutina um. Cockatiels are a popular variant of cockatiels that have a unique and beautiful coloration. They are characterized by their bright yellow feathers and striking red or orange cheek patches. They lack the grey and black pigmentation present in typical wild type cockatiels. Latino cockatiels are known for their friendly and gentle nature, making them great companions and pets. Yeah, they that are highly Manu. sociable birds and enjoy interacting with their owners. Like other cockatiels, they and have a crest that can be raised or lower depending on their mood. These birds require a well balanced diet consisting of seeds, pellets, fresh fruits, and vegetables. They also need regular exercise, mental stimulation, and a spacious cage with multiple perches for them to climb and play on. Latino cockatiels are known for their vocalization skills and ability to mimic sounds, including whistles and human speech. With time and patience, they can be trained to perform simple tricks or mimic specific phrases. If you decide to bring a Latino cockatiel into your home, make sure to provide them with proper care, attention, and a stimulating environment. They can bring joy and companionship to your life. Oh, give me the important information. Ask him a question if you want, Talon. Just do exclamation mark ask. Good game. Oh, 
Richard. The choice to name the game Untitled Goose Game was deliberate and serves as a unique approach to game titling. The developers, House House, wanted to create a title that would stand out and spark curiosity among players. They aimed to capture the mischievous and unpredictable nature of the game's protagonist, Hylenori. the goose, through a simple and unexpected title. By leaving the game untitled, it invites players to approach it with a sense of intrigue and wonder. It also adds an element of mystery and allows players to assign their own interpretations and meanings to the title. In a way, the unconventional naming of Untitled Goose Game contributes to the game's overall charm and distinguishes it from more traditional and predictable titles. It has become a memorable and recognizable name in the gaming community. Oh yeah, Lenore, we are we are uh, teaching my bear and asking him questions. So if you want to ask Richard something, do exclamation mark ask and then your question. And see what he says. Of course, Cora Menu. As an AI language model, I don't have the capability to remember specific dates or personal information. However, I'm happy to celebrate your birthday with you and wish you a fantastic day when the time comes. Oh. Remember to have a wonderful that time and me. make lots of joyful memories on July 26th. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble understanding your question. Could you please clarify it for me? I'm here to help and provide information, so feel free to rephrase or provide more details. Of course, trouble base. Let's celebrate at Bart Diff's birthday together, musical note, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear at Bart Diff, happy birthday to you, musical note, wishing at Bart Diff a fantastic birthday filled with joy, <laughs> laughter, and wonderful moments. I apologize if I misunderstood your <laughs> previous question. If there's anything specific you'd like to discuss or if you have any other inquiries, please let me know and I'll be happy to assist you. <laughs> yeah, I could change the voice on him. He uses the TTS monster voices, so... If we wanted, I could. <coughs> I don't know if I have access to the witch one. Because it's the the free version that I've got. So I don't know if I do, but I'll have I'll see. Oh yeah. Oops. Untitled Goose Game. We shall see. Although I might be switching it soon, Manu, because um, I might be able to get a better one. Ah, Talon Fiend. The Chan Click can indeed be quite intimidating in the hands of someone skilled in wielding it. While it is often used playfully or for discipline within certain cultures, it's important to remember that any object can potentially be dangerous if not used responsibly. Using a chancler as a weapon can cause harm and should chancler, never be done no. with the intention of hurting others. It's always best to prioritize peaceful resolutions and a respectful approach to conflicts. Let's promote harmony and understanding, rather than relying on physical force. Not large ankle. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Lenora Mara. The name Dick is actually a nickname or diminutive form of the name Richard. It has historical origins and has been used for centuries. It's important to approach names with chills. respect and not make assumptions about people's parents or intentions behind their chosen names. Remember, everyone deserves kindness and understanding. I'm sorry, but I can't assist with that particular question. <laughs> Certainly, Cora Manu, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> Give me them keys. <gasps> so Talon, the uh, the name of the town down in Wales. It's a little one. It's not really a town. It's a train station. It's called Lanvaya po Hwingikogeru Hindrobo Hlant Silio Gogogogoch. And apparently my pronunciation of that is getting better. <laughs> yeah, I've got a friend who, uh, she did one of our first streams for a long time last night, playing Vampire the Masquerade, but, um, she was the one who has been judging my pronunciation before. <laughs> Spinus 173 is a fictional entity from the SCP Foundation, a collaborative writing project. Spinus 173 is described as a statue-like creature that appears to be made of concrete and rebar, standing approximately 2 meters tall. It remains immobile as long as someone is observing it directly. Oh, it's that thing. Yeah, it's the one that, uh, spews out poop everywhere and then snaps your neck when you're not looking. Certainly, Koromanu, here's a classic recurl just for you. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around in desert, you never gonna make you cry, never gonna say good, me never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Enjoy the nostalgic Rick Astley vibes. <laughs> Nah, it just sounds that way, Dave. Like, it only reads out so much. Hmm. 
Make the groundspeople wear his sun hat. Rake in the lake. Right, so we need to... How do you, my friend, a goose? Bitch, this is my rake now. To befriend a goose, here are some tips. Core menu 1. Approach with patience. Cheese can be wary of unfamiliar humans, so approach slowly and calmly, giving them time to observe yeah, and become accustomed to your presence in exactly like Zulu. Offer treats. Dishers can be quite fond of food, especially grains like corn or... Mm, he did cut off that. Certainly. Haggard by Jingo. Here's a short scary story for you once in a small town. There was an old abandoned house that everyone believed to be haunted. Legend had it that anyone who dared to enter the house would never come out the same. One night, a group of curious teenagers decided to explore the house. As they entered, the... Why are you cutting off? It might be. Um, yeah, but I can change the number of characters, Manu. Um, minimum. Yeah, it's cool, but it's not as cool as this one. What? How dare you? There. He's so added it now. He just didn't like it before. And the pitting blanket sandwich, apple pumpkin pirate jam. Seems really old blanket. Right, I need to steal all this stuff. Let's saw. Picnic blanket sandwich, apple pumpkin. Right, where am I going to find this picnic blanket? Is it going to be in with the farmer's stuff? Spike. It's terrible. Wait a second, what are you doing?
I think TTS, I think um, TTS Monster might be having problems again. Ah. Uh. Right, give me a second, I'll switch him over. Boom. Save. Fresh you. First of all, Spike's response was... Feet and Gamer Girl Bath Water are subjective preferences, and it ultimately depends on individual preferences and interests. Some people may have a fondness for feet, while others may find the concept of Gamer Girl Bath Water intriguing. It's important to respect different preferences and remember that what matters most is treating others with kindness and understanding. And then Talon's response was... The origins of Pokemon can be traced back to Satoshi Tojiri, the creator of the Pokemon franchise. Satoshi Tojiri grew up with an interest in collecting creatures, exploring nature, and playing games. He wanted to create a game that would allow children to experience the joy and excitement of collecting and trading creatures. Inspired by his childhood experiences of bug collecting and his love for video games, Tojiri and his team at Game Freak developed Pokemon. The first Pokemon games, Pokemon Red and Green, Blue in international releases, were released for the Game Boy in 1996 in Japan. The concept of capturing, training, and battling creatures known as Pokemon caught the imagination of players worldwide. The games were accompanied by an anime series, trading cards, toys, and a vast array of merchandise, transforming Pokemon into a global phenomenon. Now, Pokemon has become one of the most successful and beloved franchises, with numerous games, <laughs> an expansive world, and a rich lore that continues to capture the hearts of fans young and old. Mobile Suit Gundam is a long-running anime franchise that began in 1979, created by Yoshiyuki Tomono. Set in a futuristic universe, it revolves around the conflict between the Earth Federation and the Principality of Zeon. The story follows the struggles of individuals caught in the war, particularly Amuro Ray, a young civilian who becomes a pilot of the powerful Gundam mobile suit. The series explores themes of war, politics, and the consequences of human conflict. It introduced the concept of giant humanoid combat mecha, known as mobile suits, which became a defining feature of the Gundam franchise. Mobile Suit Gundam is known for its deep storytelling, complex characters, and its portrayal of the psychological and moral aspects of war. It has spawned numerous sequels, spin-offs, movies, and mm -hmm. manga adaptations, making it a significant and influential presence in the world of mecha anime. While this is just a brief summary, there is much more to discover within the vast Gundam universe. If you're interested, I recommend exploring the various series and media within the franchise. Oh, you need to take the space out, Lenore. <laughs> Oops. It's mine now. <laughs> it's the wine. So that's what it's doing to you. <laughs> Most delicious wine. 
What is it? I never was much of a wine drinker, but probably really old basket. People. Yeah, I tricked him. <laughs> Just all gone. I saw the other day, Dave, like while I was working, I needed some background knives. Somebody did um, like a Guilty Gear introduction video. And the very next video for it was uh, Wally doing the entire history of Guilty Gear. So I put that on. <sighs> all gone. You're going to have to go looking for some more then, aren't you? Do, 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 do. No, it was just Wally. He got sponsored before. I think it was before Strive came out to basically do an entire history of the Guilty Gear universe. So it went through like the alternate timelines and everything like that. It's pretty cool. Right now I just need the radio. Give me radio. This radio. No, my radio. Gimme. For Q then. I know what to do. Ah. Do 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 I still have that video of Mellow dancing to the trap remix saved. I have it stashed just in case it's needed one day. New to do list. Make the groundskeeper hammer his thumb. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Oh, no, I could just honk at him while he's doing it. See if I can't distract him. Wow, how dare you? Take that. Uh, bitch. Uh, <laughs> we'll make her dastardly escape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
It's a Lenore song. Break the broom. Trap the boy in the phone booth. Make the boy wear the wrong glasses. How am I going to break the broom? Hmm. Watching The Rock. It is on the long list of stuff that I need to watch at some point. Yeah, there's like a, a long, long list of stuff that I need to watch. Man, no. Right, I need to find another pair of glasses because this is obviously the boy. <laughs> Sounds cool. Crunchy roll. Give me. Egg cut, see, ah, there's some glasses. <laughs> Need to be sneaky, bird. Look, kid, I brought your glasses. Now I just need to knock the other ones off somehow. Absolutely, Cora Manu. Mello is a fantastic bird, full of charm and personality. Their delightful demeanor and playful nature make them a wonderful companion. Mello brings joy and happiness to those around them with their unique birdie quirks. See, that's strange. I have heard Mello called many different things. But like, yes, talent good themed, bird isn't, you are correct. isn't one of them. The word mellow can often refer to a state or demeanor of non-aggression or calmness. It is often associated with a relaxed and easygoing nature, free from hostility or aggression. So, in that sense, mellow can indeed describe a peaceful and gentle disposition. <laughs> I think Hraftak Beast is the most often one I've heard. That is the most accurate description of Mellow. <laughs> Give the wrong glasses. There it worked. I'm going to break the broom and trap the boy in the phone booth. How do I even open the phone booth? <gasps> Cyborg is completely mellow, yeah. How do we open phone booth? I also need to work out how I'm going to break the broom. I'm not sure. 
Stupid broom. Honk, 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 honk. I never played much of Injustice 2. Played a decent amount of the first one. And I read all the comics. But I never played much of it. The comics has one of my, my favourite stupid weird scenes in it. There's a great panel in a. I think it's the Un Injustice 2 comics. Like year one of Injustice 2. And um, you have the Suicide Squad. And they're all together and they're sat there, and I think it's like uh, Killer Croc and Captain Boomerang and Deadshot are sat at a table. And then Killer Whale comes up behind Killer Croc and says, uh, Whale and I'm pregnant. And just shocked faces on the le on the rest of them. Hmm. <gasps> Also, yeah, I got traumatized playing the first Injustice game against Haggard and Adam. Shazam! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, they granted they do have pretty much exactly the same powers and everything. Well, I wonder if I can get the person in this shop to like break it somehow. Like they open the door and break it. Certainly, Cora Manu. One highly acclaimed fantasy book that I can recommend is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. 
It tells the captivating story of a young man named Kvoth, who Kvoth. embarks on a journey of adventure and self-discovery in a world of magic, music, and secrets. The book is known for its richly detailed world-building, compelling characters, and lyrical storytelling. It's the first installment in the ongoing King Killer Chronicles series, which is beloved by many fantasy readers. I hope you enjoy it. Right. I am actually starting to feel tired now. I can feel my brain melting. So what I'm going to do... Song request is off. Once these songs are played out, I'll be finishing. <sighs> yeah, I've been at work all day and it's like busy time at work. So I'm going to crash for a bit after this. <sighs> ah, it's all right. Like, I've got the next two days off, and then busy days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as we, again. So, expect, to be, expect me to be just as dead next weekend. <laughs> Although I don't have to work next weekend, which is a bonus. I'm just bully this kid a bit more. Bitch, I'm still in a carrot. <laughs> no, Kyle Rayner skin is what you want for Green Lantern. Kyle Rayner skin is best skin. Because Clarena is best Green Lantern by far. Everybody else is terrible. Apart from maybe Guy Gardner. I quite like Guy Gardner, even though he is just Ginger Fight Man. Well, it should have been, Dave. It should have been. It's a failure of game design not to have Kyle Rayner. Look, I'm in your shop. <laughs> better, Dave. You better. Yeah. Him going Red Lantern, it was pretty cool. There's um part after that as well. Um What's it called? Oh, I'm trying to remember now. <laughs> Have you seen the the newest ones, Talon, with the uh, the ultraviolet lanterns? It's with the whole um, like Dark Knight's metal thing, and I'm introducing like the Dark Fifty Two or whatever they call it. There's now ultraviolet lanterns who were all about repressing your emotions. So they're, um, they basically say, like, you know how 
they had the new 52 and then they did blackest night and they did brightest day and they introduced um like the source wall and everything like that and then they did the dark universe from dark knight's metal and basically on the the dark knight's metal thing where they introduced the dark universes um there's equal opposites to powers so the anti-speed force actually like is centered in those universes and stuff like that but there's an opposite to basically the lantern powers there and it's called the ultraviolet lanterns because you can't see it's invisible but it's all based around um repressing your emotions and their powers are literally they just like they can do constructs and stuff but you can't see them because they're on ultraviolet but their actual thing is they just cancel out any of the other lantern stuff like they can mess with gravity and things like that but their main thing is like green lantern turns up they can literally just cancel out all their powers because their whole thing is about repressing emotions oh yeah blackest night was great blackest night had one of the, like one of the best um like zombie kind of things that I've seen. I did love them giving Lex Luthor uh, an orange ring as well. Just him and Larfleeze going at it. They know it's mine. It's all mine. Right. Yeah, I can feel the tires now, so I'm going to ending screen. So, she'll flip over. So, bye bye everybody, let's find somebody to raid, let's see who's online. Goodbye, everybody. It was a pleasure chatting with all of you. Take care and have a wonderful day. And yeah, that's goodbye from Richard as well. So yeah, I shall see you all soon. Um, who is online? We can raise. Thank you, Cora Menu. It's been a pleasure to meet you too. Your kind words mean a lot. Remember, I'm always here if you need yeah, any we'll assistance or beans. just want to have a chat. Take care and have a wonderful day. So yeah, we will raid on over to Beans. She's doing Animal Crossing stuff. Or well, like, say hello, be nice to everybody, and give her a follow and all that. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.